Welcome to another episode of It's Time to Go. Hey Justin, who'd you vote for? Well, you know, Dane, I just couldn't bring myself to vote for David for King. He's, uh, he's weak on family values. Yeah, well, I couldn't vote for King Saul because he's kind of the incumbent and I never vote for them. Mm. Uh, yeah, this is Election Day. We're here with a special episode uh, reminding you it's a good idea to go out and vote today. Uh, we also thought we'd open a little lightheartedly because uh, the story we've got this week is a bit of a doozy, a terrible story of King David abusing his power. Uh, he steals another man's wife and sleeps with her, and then he goes and makes things worse and worse by killing the husband. So really good story about family values, huh, Justin? It's a great story about biblical family values. Uh, it does reflect our nature as human beings, not only the mistakes that we make, uh, but also our tendency to want to cover things up. It seems, in fact, that things get worse and worse uh, throughout Scripture when humans try to do things on their own, when humans try to make things right on their own rather than just repenting from their sin and seeking God's forgiveness. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering, you know, we're focusing on the theme of Thanksgiving this month, and especially in the month of Thanksgiving, and not really seeing a whole lot to be thankful for in this story. Are you, Justin? You have to search for it, don't you? Uh, I think the things that I'm thankful for in this story, first of all, I'm thankful that God holds uh, God's people accountable, even kings, all of our leaders are going to be held accountable. Um, how do we hold our leaders accountable? How do we hold the king accountable? Well, in this story, after this text ends, a prophet is sent to confront David and uh, there's a consequence for David's sin, both personally and for the nation. And so uh, I'm thankful for that in, a, in maybe a strange way. Uh, I'm also thankful for the, the person of Uriah, Uriah the Hittite, who turns out to be kind of the hero in the story and a great example of what it means to be a faithful person and to do the right thing, uh, to sacrifice uh, selfish gain and instant gratification for uh, what is really the right thing to do. And uh, of course, I'm thankful for God's grace, the forgiveness that David receives. Um, David's still called to be the king and God still uses David, imperfect as he is. Yeah, that's true. And I always have to remind myself, sometimes there's not a whole lot of grace or uh, happy things in a story, but sometimes we go outside the story to remember uh, who is with us all the way. We can be thankful that we have a Lord who uh, sticks with us even when we are broken and won't let us and our sin and our brokenness have the last word. It's a good reminder. Also a good reminder on election day that as Christians living in a democracy, it's not only our civic duty to go and vote, uh, but also an act of discipleship. Yeah, so I guess it's probably time to go. And uh, by that, I mean if you haven't gone and voted yet, it's time to go vote. So have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.